welcome back to my channel. Today in this demo video, we will learn how to use array and what is array first of all. We will learn this from this video. I have already created a project. I am going to run this and show you. So there are two different array variables that I have created using which I am doing a concatenation and showing a different result. Okay, so we will learn that in this video, how to do that. And we will learn what is an array and how do you access them. All right. So let's get started. So I am going to create a new sequence and I will name it as demo array data types. Okay, this is one of the data type. Now click on create. Now the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to take an activity called assign. Now assign is the activity which where I can declare a variable and give some value to it. So in the to field, I am going to click on Control K and I am going to create a variable called name array, okay, which will contain names. So the moment you do this with Control K, remember name array would always contain generic value, the data type. So I am going to change the data type to array of T, and here I am going to select string because I am going to keep the names right so now the array of t is created now here i am going to initiate this array so for that you need to remember you have to type new because the string type string then brackets and curly brackets so this is how you initiate a array so one thing the scope you need to check this has to be with the full entire sequence okay that is done now let's do this let me start giving certain names storing certain names in the array so let's say i'm storing rakesh comma i'll store another name john comma and again double quotes and i will put let's say deepak all right so these are the three names i have declared so now let's understand what is happening when you declare something like this name array so let me open Excel and I will show you how does that work okay so when I'm saying Rakesh so I have typed three names Rakesh John and the third name that I've typed is Deepak okay so what is happening the first one is known as index 0 the value of the index is 0 the value of this index is 1 and the value of the third one index is 3. Now let, let me show you what I am talking. So now I have created an array, stored three variables and I want to show, let's say I want to see John. That is in the index number 1. So what I will do, I am going to add another activity. That is message box. Okay, I will drag and drop or double click. Now I am going to, let's say, I am going to see name array is the data type array data type in bracket I'm let's say I'm going to access John so I said John is in index number one so all you have to do here all you have to remember is just type one here okay done now let's run this and see if John is appearing on my screen or not okay so now you can see the zero one so now John has appeared let me change this back to let's say 0. If I do 0, what would happen? If I make it to 0 and run this, the 0 index is Rakesh. So I am expecting Rakesh to appear on my screen. Okay, this thing should be very clear. So how you are accessing, once you clear, create an array, how you are accessing. So Rakesh has come. So now you understood how in an array variable how it is being stored so this will be stored in this fashion okay more names you add it's going to store you know one after the other and the numbers would keep on increasing the index number would keep on increasing okay let's get back let me delete it for the moment now let's say i'm going to assign another array i'm going to create another array where i'm going to store the country names okay so where they are from let's say assign and I'm going to create another array with a control K and I will say country name. Okay, the moment I do control K as it's an array, I have to again come back here and or else you can directly create it here also. That is also another way. 
so array of t and select string this is done click ok and the scope is decided to entire sequence fine now i'm going to put three country names right so i'm creating another array and here i'm defining the country name let's say rakesh is from india comma let's say john is from germany comma again brackets let's say deepak is from let's say sri lanka okay these are the three country names that i have declared now here is the thing that i want to do let's say i want to say rakesh is from india or i would like to say john is from germany so how do you do that so for that i am going to use a message box okay so message box so i'm going to show you two different methods okay that will be more interesting to learn so first is i will simply use name array so i want to show rakesh is from india okay so i'm going to say name array so rakesh is in the index 0 right so after this i'll give a plus sign and give braces and give a space so it will say rakesh space then plus sign and I'm going to type it here is from and give a space here so it will say Rakesh space is from again there is a small space in between the braces and I click on plus sign and I'm going to access the first index of country country name in bracket I'm going to say zero right so what is happening here the name array first index zero is Rakesh space is from space country name is india country name index zero is india okay let's run this now this is very clear let's run this so you can see that it's clearly saying rakesh is from india so this is interesting so from two different array variables how you are taking each element of the array with the index number so here i have defined zero and zero this is another way we will use another method called string dot join let's see that how does that work i'm dragging and dropping another message box here instead of writing name you know i am going to use another method vb.net method that is string dot join okay now i want to give spaces after each index so i'm already defining it here okay comma so there will be no plus sign here i'll be using comma and i am typing name array this time i'm going to access let's say john john is index number one so in bracket i'm going to write john, name array one and then i'll give a comma and i want a space right after the name so again i'll double quotes and i'll give a space here so everything is by adding a comma and again i'm going to say is from is from right and i'm giving a space and closing this comma so what is happening now string dot join name array name array is one that is john space is from space little space here and then so i'm not using a plus sign here i'm using a comma and the second one country name index one so i will say comma country name just hit on tab and in bracket mention one okay now you can see that clearly let me show you so that you remember how it is written so very simple string dot join i want a space so this is, is the format name array one rack john space is from country name germany so this is how it has been done okay so i'm going to close this now let's run this and see how does it work so first one it should say Rakesh is from India because this is the first message box clear Rakesh is from India wonderful next John is from Germany so the spaces has already come do you see this John is from Germany click on ok alright so this is the demo of array and you understood what is an array and how to access each element of the array so thank you for watching this video guys and I'll be keep on posting more videos please subscribe and hit on the bell icon Thank you for watching. You have a wonderful day.